Merry Christmas! Hey everybody, um, for starters, Merry Christmas. Uh, it's actually the 23rd when I'm recording this, but this should go up on Christmas. Maybe even Christmas Eve, I haven't decided which day, but probably Christmas. Uh, but I'm really excited. I have my favorite ugly Christmas sweater, which is like a breakdancing Santa. Um, and I have the Last Integrity Toys doll that I'm gonna be opening this year. And you already see from the thumbnail and stuff, but it is Lemon Lullaby Poppy Parker. So I've needed to open this doll for so long. Again, she's one of the upgrade dolls um, from Integrity Toys from this W Club year. And I've had this doll. Well, she got shipped while I was coming back from my trip in Asia, or was it before I left? Anyways, I've had her for a while, but you know, a lot of crazy stuff's been going on here, so I haven't got to her yet. So I decided that for my Christmas video, I'd open her, cause she's so cute and she has like a bedtime theme and Christmas, you know, you go before Santa, you go to bed before Santa gets here and everything. So I just thought it was cute and went along with it. So this is gonna be my Christmas video doll. Uh, for starters, I hope everyone has an amazing holiday. I hope everything goes great. I'm really excited for the holidays, spending a lot of time with family. And yeah, I love it. Last year I was in Venezuela for Christmas with my husband's family. So I'm excited to be home this year and just relax, enjoy time with uh, family here. And yeah, so anyways, I hope everyone's holiday is going amazing. But I'm excited, let's get into this actual doll review. So for starters, like I said, this is Lemon Lullaby Poppy Parker. And this is a doll from the W Club upgrade for the year 2023. And this doll is a recolor, well, I think they call it a moment, but she's basically a recolor of a doll that already exists. And this doll actually has two versions. The original one was, I believe she was in pink, or the original was in blue. And then they made a second one in pink. And now we have the yellow one. Part of me wishes this was done in like a mint green kind of color and then it would have been like a Powerpuff Girls moment. But she's really cute. I'm really excited. Um, so far I only have one Poppy, the Greed Poppy Parker, who's back there. So I'm excited to add another Poppy to my collection. So we open the shipper. First thing we see, um, there used to be like uh, tissue paper here, but I've already removed that. We have Poppy Parker box. And this box is really nice quality. Um, it says limited edition at the top. We have the Poppy Parker. What's it say? New York and a little Poppy head. And then down here it says fashion doll ages 15 and up. Then we have like this little pink-ish color in the middle, back Poppy, Poppy Parker and then integrity toys. So I'm really excited. I do believe I've already looked at this doll but it was so long ago, I honestly don't remember. Um, I know what she looks like. I just don't remember. Oh, and then the top we have PP. Uh, I don't remember like what, like how her face was up close. I think I just took a quick second to look at her. So this is gonna be like seeing her again for the first time. So go ahead and here she is. Wow, she is so beautiful. So beautiful. And like this like nightgown is so full. It's just so pretty. I love it so much. And then up here, of course, we have her accessories, which are put right there. She is a beautiful doll. Um, and I've never, the other Poppy I opened didn't have a box like this. So I'm just gonna actually do this right here. I'm gonna take this part out. It looks like it comes out. Does it? Pretty sure. Yes, okay, it does. Oh, and then her accessories and everything. So first thing we have is her certificate of authenticity. Mine is number 288 out of 2,284. Um, love seeing that. And then we have her accessories over here. We have her grip hands. We have her cute little posable teddy bear or articulated teddy bear. Her shoes, which are just so cute. It's like yellow with little pom-poms. And then we have her jewelry, which is really simple. It's just two stud earrings and then a little ring. So those are her accessories and other things in the box. 
and here is the doll. She is so beautiful. And uh, I guess we just go ahead straight into opening her up. Um, I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and open her up off camera. I know in the past I've done the time lapse. Actually, you know what? I'll do the time lapse. It's Christmas, um, so I'll do a time lapse unboxing her further, like getting her fully out, building the stand, everything, and then we'll get up into her details. I'm so excited. So yeah, let's just jump, just jump straight to that. Okay, so Poppy is all unboxed and she is so beautiful. For starters, one thing I forgot to mention was that inside Poppy's box, the inside part, it just has Poppy Parker in this little uh, face decal. It's really cool. Um, but I wanted to mention that since I forgot to. But now let's go straight into the doll. So here we have Lemon Lullaby Poppy Parker and she's just so beautiful. First off, her hair is like rolled back in this little, um, kind of like little bump. Um, there was a piece hanging out, I snipped it. It was just such a tiny piece, so I just snipped it. And now her hair is perfect, which I really like. Uh, my other Poppy from The Greed one, she had like a piece hanging off big on the side of her hair and I've had to like figure out how to restyle it, but her hair is just perfect. And then her face is super beautiful. She has like these kind of magenta lips with this silver eyeshadow. She has this little ribbon uh, bow headband in her hair. Then with her earrings, they're really nice, but I actually had to pierce her ears myself. I've had to do that for one other doll. I think it was my Smoke and Shadows Vanessa Perrin, but I haven't had to do it in a while. But basically you just take a thumbtack. So I just had this thumbtack laying around and I poked it enough to give a hole big enough for the ear, uh, the ear, the earrings to actually go into the ear. So it was super simple. And I think they're really nice. Just like so simple, but it's so beautiful. Then uh, here's the bear and you can move him a bit. He has some articulation, which is kind of cool. He's super soft, super plush. And the ribbon matches the one that's in her hair. Very cute. And then we get into this incredible, incredible outfit. So for starters, she has this huge layered tool um, I guess overcoat that's just, that has edgings of uh, lace. It is so beautiful, so over the top. It's amazing, but it's also a piece that can be removed. So let's do that. I haven't even done it yet. Let's get her arms back. Okay. We'll let Poppy sit here on the stand for a second. And now we can look at this tool. So it just has like this nice little uh, kind of like satin feeling backing. And it's just a completely huge layered tool piece. It's so beautiful and very thick, really nice, a little sheer, which I actually really like. You can see my hands through it a little bit. It's just so beautiful and so, so just over the top, but in the best way possible. And then we have Poppy in her like little nighty piece. And I think this is super cute as well. It's so simple. So first off we have like this white lace up here with these yellow ribbon uh, straps. Then we have that same yellow ribbon that she has in her hair on the bear and for these straps as a little bow in the middle with ribbons that go down even past the little uh, night dress. Then we have the same tool that you see with the uh, jacket here with a little satin piece underneath or no is this tool yeah it's like tool with a satin piece underneath then she also has matching little yellow underwear and it's super cute and let me get the other shoe it just fell gonna get that back on there she has these shoes. They don't have like a back piece to keep them on, so they can kind of fall off, but they're pretty secure. Like I can wiggle it around. But she has these cute little pom-pom heels 
that are so adorable. It's like, gives me a little bit of Tinkerbell, but like with a high heel. I love it so much. So cute. And her manicure is like the same color as her lips. This kind of magenta color. Very pretty. Um, I thought it was red, honestly, but the magenta is really nice. And then she has a ring that matches the little studs that she has as earrings. So that is basically it. She is so stunning and so detailed. Oh, the last thing is she has a Poppy Parker stand, which this is my first stand like this because the only other Poppy I have is from the Seven Sins event. So it's really nice. But yeah, that's basically it for this Poppy. I'm gonna go ahead, switch back to regular view and kind of just give my closing thoughts about this doll. And, well, I don't know why I said it. That's basically it. So let me go ahead and switch the camera around. Okay, so camera flipped around. We have her all put together and she is just so cute, so beautiful. Just like an adorable Poppy by far. Also, I wanted to read off her specs um, that I got from the website I typically always use now, which is integritydolls.info. Amazing website, it has like so much information when it comes to Integrity Toys dolls. Um, it says she is, do, do, do. her sculpt is Poppy 1.0, her body is Poppy 1.5, her skin tone is A-tone, her hair color is black, and the year is, yeah, 2023. Oh, it actually has, the foot sculpt is the industry high-heeled feet, the eye screening is ooh la la, and the eyebrow screening is ooh la la. So I don't know a lot about Poppy screening, so that's interesting to me. But yeah, she is a stunningly beautiful doll and i'm not gonna lie brianna's probably gonna lose her spot on the bed to this poppy because she would just look so good on it and it continues the integrity toys thing hope brianna will still come back out as soon as i get like my other shelf up for rainbow high dolls so she'll still get her spot but yeah i love this poppy i think she's so cute i'm kind of excited that i like saved her all the way to christmas she feels a little christmasy to me um if she was in green then definitely it'd be more christmasy but she feels very Christmassy to me. Also, I found out her headband is removable. Um, it has a little like elastic in the back, so it's not a tie thing. You can take it on and off. I'm not taking it off because it looks so perfect where it is, but it's good to know that it is removable. Um, it's its own accessory. And yeah, I think that's it. She is a beautiful doll and I'm just excited to have her in my collection now and add her to my Integrity dolls. So, that is gonna be it for this video. Kind of short and sweet, but I definitely wanted to unbox her with all of you. And I wanna say again, I hope everyone has an amazing holiday, no matter what holiday you celebrate. I hope you have an amazing time with family, friends, or whoever. And I hope to see you all in the next one. As always, my Instagram will be tagged down below. It's his.dolls on Instagram. I have kind of fallen behind in my doll photography. I wanna get back into it. There's so many dolls I wanna photograph, but Hopefully I'll get back on it come 2023, or maybe I'll just have one day where I just go crazy and finally photogra photographer, photograph all the dolls that I've been opening and get to share them all with you because I miss being able to do some doll photography. So hopefully soon. But yeah, it'll be down below, tis.dolls on Instagram. And I guess that's about it. I know this doll miss uh, didn't go perfect for me. I kind of missed some of the days. But I did have fun, and it gives me something to work towards next year. Like, next year, maybe that'll be the year I can stick to it. But anyways, I really enjoyed it. Love the doll. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps out, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.